The Manx Royal Agricultural Show is an absolute must if you ever find yourself on the Isle of Man. It's a fantastic day out for all the family, as well as the culmination of months of hard work from the show's participants. With just 10 hours to raise as much money as possible, the team would need to pull out their best moves. And they did. <laughs> I know, he's loving every second of it. So where did he go into? <laughs> Luckily, the stall is a complete success, with money coming in thick and fast. People are smiling, the sun is shining, and it looks like nothing can dampen the team's spirits. Get that thing away from me. Basically, last night the gazebo f***ing flew away, didn't it? And then we put this over, thinking it'd be waterproof, and it's not f***ing waterproof. Which is what I was worried about last night, and the spray paint's not waterproof or anything, so all the f***ing hard work. Literally, like, 30 hours work. Spray paint all faded and shitty and peeling off. This is just just stupid. It won't even be that bad once you stand it. That'll take two seconds. Catherine is far too positive. Stop being so positive. If I'm not positive right now, I'll cry. Yeah. And I really don't want that on camera. That's fair enough. Why didn't we put the f***ing gazebo on? <laughs> this is karma for me letting the gazebo blow away. It's just so, it's just so much work and we've got f***ing all time. Oh, it's whinging about it isn't really going to do anything, is it? With morale low, the team needs a reminder of what they're racing for. Hello. Hi there, you must be Dan. I'm Sam, Sam. Nice to Sam. meet you. Nice to meet you, Dave. Come in, come in, sit down. Sam goes to meet Dave Downey, technical advisor for the hyperbaric chamber. So we started in 1984, basically as a chamber to treat diving casualties, but uh, the medical practitioner and myself who started it were well aware of there are other conditions right. that could be treated with hyperbaric medicine. The chambers help many people on the island and continue to do so. All we use is oxygen. You breathe oxygen every day uh, from the second you are born to the second you die. What we do is, is put more oxygen into your system where your system has been depleted by the impact or injury. It then helps you to heal more effectively say a round of world championship motorcycle racing in three weeks of the broken leg, we can get you back on the course where normally it would take eight or ten weeks. Likewise, if you're a plasterer who's self-employed and you break your shoulder, instead of being 12 weeks, we can get you back to work in eight weeks. Fundraising is crucial to keeping the chambers open to the public. 
it's a huge, huge part of the of the, the life of the Isle of Man. I mean, you know, the the amount of people that we keep away from doctor surgeries because we're healing them is absolutely enormous. So not only that is the reduction in pain, the reduction in suffering, giving people their normal lives back. You know, we treat 15,000 treatments a year, and we have done for a long, many, many, many years now. Um, to have that level in a population of 86,000 people is enormous. Um, and so hopefully with the money we raise, hopefully we can help keep it going. <laughs>Video diary, five days to go, till we're rolling down the hill. Still no wheels. <laughs> Wheelless and with time running out, the team begin decorating. So, we're here on a Tuesday evening. Production's well underway. Uh, we are 3 d in the shit out of the, uh, out of the cruiser, sticking a lot of a lot of bits of cardboard on. Honestly, apply the glue. Ow, Thanks. Mother I've had quite a lot of experience, as you can tell. Honestly, once you created the right size, your phone will ring. Excuse me a second. Please. One. <laughs> yes, Mum? Hello. All right. Good. Okie dokie. All right, D. Thanks for that. Bye. Catherine, you've got a degree in art, right? <laughs> yes, that is correct. Was your degree stuff better or worse than this? Um, much worse, I'd say. I'm probably prouder oh, of this. Don't be harsh on yourself. This is pretty terrible. <laughs> I didn't glue any of this shit on, so... Harsh. <laughs> that was all me. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sam gets stuck in. Literally. You know, they went back and found the original tunnels. <laughs> Yet, despite their hard work, the team's brake problems continue. <laughs> Um, what welded it to the thing? Brake situation. Ah, uh, brakes. Oh dear. I can't wait to do three things. I can't wait to shower. I can't wait to have a shave. And I can't wait to... Can't say the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> oh wow, it looks awesome. That's what we were going for. That's amazing. Sammy, what do you uh, like. reckon to that? It looks mint. I'm so impressed by that. It looks so much better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> After a long day of spray painting, Sammy likes to replenish his energy with tasty Manx kippers. Come to the Isle of Man. <laughs> Tired and wet, but with time marching on, Ben and Sam continue working into the night. Raindrops are falling on my head. Na, 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 na. <laughs> That's all the words we know. Na, 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 na. Na. Raindrops are falling on my head. They keep falling. Masking tape. Nothing's worrying me, <laughs> except the soapbox, <laughs> and if we don't have any brakes, <laughs> or, or wheels, or wheels on that one over there. Yep, or steering wheels. 
Over the nap, nothing's worrying me. me. With one day to go, Sam works on the final finishing touches. I'm gonna like not f that up, otherwise I'm screwed. What are you doing right now, mate? I'm gonna try and make the front bits on the Falcon. Because it's not no Falcon without the front bits. How does it go again? <laughs> oh, no, 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 yes. Oh, that's that way. No, it's not. It's that way. Oh shit, I've made a big mistake. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, shit. You've done two exactly the same, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Now I've got to do it all over again! Whilst Sam grapples with the difference between left and right, Catherine learns what 9am looks like on one final supply run. I think we found what we needed. Very early in the morning. <laughs> Alright, okay. No, I'll, I'll drop you off, that's fine. I'll drop you off, that's fine. No, it's okay. I'll speak to you later anyway. I'll see you tonight. I love you, bye. Bye. Who's that? Amy. She's grumpy at me. Why? Mm, because I... It's her birthday on Monday. And there's soapbox things on Sunday. And I think I've like, put all my time into this soapbox thing. And now, now I don't, like... I haven't even got her a birthday present. The moment of truth. Do the brakes actually work? Put it, put it back towards you. Stop. Right, I'll put the brakes on. Then do try and push as hard as you can. <laughs> The answer is probably oh, no. The team wants to look the part, and so Sam heads to town in search of costumes. Whoa! F***ing hell! Did you see that? That was a close one. Okay, so we're here outside Mr. Ben's costume shop. I got a phone call from Amy who told me that they have a Chewbacca costume because our one didn't arrive in the post. This is our last chance to get a Chewbacca costume, so fingers crossed they have one. From pirates to Wookiees, Mr. Ben's costume shop is a favorite among locals. Oh wow, it looks incredible! That, that looks awesome! It's so fluffy! Do you have any um, um, Darth Vader costumes by any chance? Yeah. Looks awesome. Oh, so it's like a onesie. Yeah, my mask is over. That's the mask. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, yeah. Uh, I need to draw cash off him, but there's a cash point just down the road. Yeah. Hey, how was it? We have a Chewbacca costume <laughs> and a bonus made of mask. It's a bit big. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like for an actual Chewbacca sized person. The atmosphere in the last two days has been incredible because things always get left to the last minute. But um, for this, it's amazing how everyone's just kind of pulled out everything they've got. Everyone's here now, just working tirelessly on it all, bouncing ideas off each other, helping each other. You know, when we started, we thought this is just going to be a bit of, it'll be a bit of fun. We'll just throw something together. But you never actually realise just how much effort you need to do that goes into building something like this. And there's no way we would have been able to do that without the help of everyone who's been involved. And uh, are you going to win tomorrow? Um, I think it'll be an emotional victory. <laughs> I think it'll be 
if they just go and stop, then that counts as a win, <laughs> I think. If, if we get past the scrutineering, that'll be an emotional victory. Um, winning, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> With much work still to do, Richard and Sam try to fix those ruddy brakes once and for all. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ben and Catherine attempt to finish the artwork, starting with the Falcon's cockpit. Armed only with a bucket and tinfoil, Ben's feeling confident. <laughs> Push me forward and see if I can stop it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could cry. I could cry as well after all that. Bricks! No, 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 no. I'm just kind of. It just needs to be a guest at that. Maybe it's just scary. Yeah. Okay. Get that. <laughs> says you can't have sharp or protruding objects on the outside of your soapbox. Um, the whole thing is a sharp and protruding object. We're pretty concerned it's a pretty big issue right now. I'm just right now. concerned that this is just dangerous, man. I don't want to impale some small child and peel with my... But sharp it's not... protruding object! My <laughs> sharp protruding object! <laughs> 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 Cut it there. <laughs>